the level of pollution in the Venetian lagoon has long been a concern. Now a fleet of autonomous little robots could help monitor the water environment in the lagoon. Visual artists Vicky Isley and Paul Smith, the British duo of Boredom Research, are collaborating with the University of Graz in Austria to create an intelligent underwater monitoring system that coordinates, communicates and collects data autonomously. The subculture and project is looking to establish cultures of robots in the really heavily human polluted environment of the Venice Lagoon. And it's really important that these agents don't fail. And an idea of robustness is a very much a key concern within the lab. The robots come in different typologies, from artificial muscles to floating artificial lily pads. These devices are among the artworks developed under the EU project FEET, Future Emerging Art and Technology, supported by the EU programme Future and Emerging Technologies, FET. The objective is to establish an interaction between art and science. The artists follow the work of the scientists to create collaborative outcomes, such as the production of new artworks. What do these holes and stains in this antique wartime women's suit mean? They represent E. coli bacteria grown using a dye-containing growth medium. This work is called Make Do and Mend, done by the British artist Anna Dumitriou. The work references the 75th anniversary of the first use of penicillin in a human patient in 1941 and wants to underline the serious global problem of bacteria evolving resistance to antibiotic that we face today. Dumitriou's work fuses craft, sculpture and bioscience. She participated in an investigation to explore the mechanisms of gene regulation carried out by Technion Laboratories in Haifa, Israel. Can artists visually represent sound? The video Parting the Waves by Ruth Jarman and Joe Gerhardt, the British-UK artist duo Semiconductor, is the graphic and acoustic representation of sound waves produced during a quantum system simulation. The two artists spent a period of time at the University of Turku in Finland to follow the work of the Quantum Technology Group. The sound really drives this piece of work. Without the sound, there would be no image. The sound is creating the image and completely animating it. Evelina Dominic and Dmitry Gelfand, born in the Soviet Union but living in Amsterdam, want to face the almost impossible challenge of observing and manipulating the unobservable, the quantum world. The fruit of their work is this artwork called Quantum Lattice, created during a feat residency in Ulm, Germany, to follow the construction of a quantum simulator. What was particularly fascinating to us about this subtle interaction of electric fields and matter is that it allowed physicists for the first time to observe the quantum nature of isolated individual atoms, something about which the founding fathers of quantum theory could only fantasize. Scientists dream that with new supercomputers, it will be possible to investigate the ultimate questions we could never even dream of before, such as the origin of the universe and life. The Slovenian new media artist Spela Petric and Miha Tursic undertook the challenge of understanding and showing the artistic potential of high-performance computing, HPC. These videos are the result of a residency in various European organisms dealing with last-generation computing. Can artists and scientists work together, giving each other new ideas? Will we see a new Leonardo da Vinci of our time? The FEET project wants to embrace this challenge. <laughs>